Right then. Right then. <laughs> Off on another adventure. So this time, we're actually going to another county that we've not taken you before. We're off to Worcestershire. <laughs> I don't know why she can't say Worcestershire properly. <laughs> or Herefordshire, Shire. Shire, yeah. We're yes. going to Worcestershire. We're going to, it's, um, it's a pub, which would be no shock to anybody who knows us. Oh. But there's actually a campsite behind it, and it's called the Drum and Monkey. Yes. At Upton upon Severn in Worcestershire. Yeah, our friends to consult us about it. It sounds. The reviews for the pub are excellent. We've got a table booked there tonight, haven't we? Yeah. Uh, we've got friends Deb and Steve joining us. So, um, yeah, it's about a mile out of Upton, would you say? Yeah. Just so, that. walking distance. Um, the weather looks mixed this weekend, doesn't it? It's walking distance to Upton, by the way. It's not walking distance from here. No. <laughs> no. No, we're going in the van. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's going to take us about half an hour. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So, um, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> So we've been on the road for what, 20 minutes? Yes. And we're nearly there. Excited, Paulie yeah, Morgan? Oh, yeah. All the Morgan Hills, all the Morgan there. Hills there that the hedge is just obscured. Yeah. <laughs> Carol does like a good shot. Whenever there's a low hedge, she's pointing to the camera at me. When there's That's a high hedge. Because you're such a beauty yourself, well, Paulie Morgan. <laughs> ah, yeah, so how many, well, how long to go down there? Probably 10 minutes? Well, two minutes would be that time. Two minutes will be in Upton. And then maybe another five minutes and we'll be at the council. Oh, exciting times, eh, Paulie Morgan? Yes, indeed. And it's still not raining? Not yet. Oh. So we're just getting towards Upton now. You can see well, this house is obscuring. I don't know. Can you see the Morgan Hills in the background? We're not going there. No. <laughs> it's quite hard to level the van when you can't walk the Morgan Hills. Yes, I'm sure it is. But a lovely part of the world that we've been to quite a few times because this here on to towards the right hand side isn't that where the where the, sunshine where the sunshine festival is that we is held on august bank holiday obviously not this year unfortunately because of covid but um a fabulous local festival in it for that's yes. um not too big but they do have some older stars from our era in it for i think that's probably why we like it oh damn it the rain's starting but this is Upton on Seven, well, Upton upon Seven, a historical riverside town in Worcestershire. That's right. So we're going to be just going through um, and out the other end, is it, Paulie? Going through and then left and right through the, through the town. Yeah, so uh, I'll keep the camera running so you can have a little look, but hopefully we'll be able to explore a bit more whilst we're here and show you around. We're going up the river, I'm not sure what river it is. Hey, oh, I wondered if you I were going to pay thinking. attention. Yeah, we always aim to be by the water, don't we, Paulie Morgan? So, um... down from here isn't it Paul just, uh, we've yes. always now and our friends Deb and Steve will verify that um, we had the best chips here didn't we just chips in a bag from well, the local I chippy the best, I had the best chips and then I said does anybody else want any chips to which everybody replied no I don't want any chips and then they proceeded then to try and scoff my chips yes. anybody who knows me knows Paulie doesn't share food <laughs> no he doesn't like sharing but, um, but they were the best, so um, he's flashing us through, any. he? So yes, yeah, so this is Upton, Upton upon Seven. And we're gonna go and find the Drummer Monkey, which uh, we are really looking forward to staying, because it sounds like a fabulous pub with fabulous food. Yes. Oh, rain, stay away. There's only one big black cloud there, Paul. Well, to give you some idea of how bad the weather can get, rugby club over here, I drove past here once and the water was up nearly up to the crossbar on the post. Oh right, yeah this area does, this Tewkesbury all around here isn't it, does, yeah. does suffer with the flooding, but hopefully not this weekend. Oh no, it's going to be like, um, it's going to be like the Caribbean. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Oh yes, the 
drum a monkey. <laughs> so it's not far, is it? No, it's not far, actually. So, what do we do? Do we just pull into the car park? This looks a cool little pub, isn't it? So let's just pull in here and uh, try and find someone to talk to. This is literally here by the looks, isn't it? So do we welcome to the drum and monkey? What does the sign say? On arrival, please report to the pub. All call is on that number. And just a few little rules there, respect your neighbours, etc. So that's good. So let's just um, pull up somewhere and pop in the pub. So we've just been in to the drum and monkey. Very we nice have. lady. Yes. Um, Paul forgot to, to mention that it's cash only for the campsite, so uh, we haven't got enough cash on us. So uh, we're going back home. We'll show up. <laughs> oh, no, so we're going to, um, obviously they say we could pay in some of the weekend, but just a tip, you're welcome to the Drum Monkey. The campsite's actually um, separately owned, so and they only accept cash for that, but obviously for the pub, for a meal tonight, they can take cards, can't they, Paul? I'm sure I'm just zoning out because I'm still very excited about the list of pies that are not the special. Yes, the special sport is good. Ten different pies. Yeah, so we've been allocated some um, two pictures over there. So we're going to go and uh, find them now. They look like they got wigwams and Paul. You said they were honey they're, pots. They're called honey something. So different types of accommodation honey, here. So honey pots, I think was the, was the word. Never heard of them, but, no, but, but obviously you can look at them. You can see why yeah, they're called the honey. Yeah, I can see. They look like um. A honey pot. They look like a bee's house. Oh yes. Silly. So we're yeah. off to the corner over here. So the pictures are quite big. <laughs> are you going to turn around and face out? Face out. Okay, so any issues. Yes, that's a good point. We don't want to be our back end um, with any trees banging on the roof either, Paul. So something to consider. Would you want to get out and have a candle? Yes, I will have a candle. See if there's any overhanging trees. No, we're clear. So, um, let's go straight back, hunky man. Yeah, that'll do. I don't know how flat we are, but I'm sure when, as soon as he gets his spirit level out, he'll let me know. <laughs> don't look too bad, actually. The front might have to go up a little bit, Paul, but... Well, it's the front is starting, is it? Three. Because we have got some under the front here. In case I, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, hard, it's yeah, it is firm. Um, we have been to festivals where uh, we've had to get towed out, haven't we, Paul? So we're just a bit wary, really. It's front wheel, front wheel drive campers, which the majority of them are. You get stuff on a greasy worm, basically. Yeah. So um, yes, yeah, so we'll get that sorted. But yes, yeah, so we're here. We're waiting for our friends Deb and Steve. They're coming after work. So um, yes, happy days, Paulie Morgan. And like I say, there's just one pitch next to us here um, for Deb and Steve, so huge. That's what it's time for, any. Oh, spirit level two. Does that work? Does it work like that? <laughs> you stick it there. Oh, he's funny, funny guy. If you've seen any of our previous vlogs, my um, success rate with the spirit level is pretty oh, dismal. So which way does that need to go? Oh God, here we go again. The front's got to go up quite a bit. Have I got it right? Yes! So these are our little ramps. Is that what they're called, Paulie? Uh, yes. Any reason why you picked yellow ones? Uh, yeah. Because that's what, um, that's what Alan Green gave me. <laughs> I thought you'd organise those lockers. I have. You said them before. <laughs> So if you were going to buy these from the shop, Penny, how much would they be? Well, the thing is, I, I can't see any around here, but you can buy them now where 
they go like that and up and like that and up and like that and they're like this long. Oh, and why would you want them? Because if you've got to go up a long way, the trouble is, is like if we get to the end of them and we're not high enough, then you've got to put a bit of wood under it and then it's uh, hard to get up there, whereas these go... Like, maybe that's another upgrade for the van. <gasps> she's off, she's gone mad. <laughs> oh, we've been treating ourselves to a... We won the lottery no our van's 25 years old so um we've been treated to a little bit of um, tlc and we poorly morgan with all our little bits and bobs Adam, yes go back to the oh oh this is where the pressure starts okay Stop. Not bad. So there we are. So we've all got just got to uh, get the camper organised now, which won't take us long. And then I think it might be just an afternoon chilling and maybe playing. Um, maybe we're going to have a game of crib, Paulie Morgan. Yes. <gasps> Don't play crib for a long time. I'm going to beat Paulie Morgan's ass at crib. I rarely win, but maybe today's my lucky day. So because it might be a little bit uh, inclement the weekend, mightn't it, Paulie? We're going to put the awning out. Paulie's favourite job. Because Cara doesn't like a, a wet entrance, apparently. A soggy entrance. Soggy entrance. Each to his own, I say. <laughs> so. Look at the concentration. Is that it? <laughs> Yeah, it would be all right. You're going to give it a bit of lube. <laughs> oh, we were told sometimes we're a bit like carry on camping by do little campers um, on their vlogger box. Uh, if you haven't followed uh, do little campers, you must do. I'll put a description, a link to their um, YouTube channel because they're a fun couple that get away in their camper van too. And. Uh, The reason Paul is doing that is when we were away in um, Sterrett's Caravan Park, it was quite creaky at night, wasn't it, Paul? So we're not sure whether it just needs a little bit of um, lubrication and maybe it won't be so squeaky. But back to do little campers, if you've not followed them, um, make sure you do follow them and subscribe to them on YouTube because they're, they're a real fun couple um, and they've got a really cute dog called Tessie, aren't they, Paul? Yes, they are. So, um, but anyway, back to the awning. Already sounds smoother, doesn't it, Paul? <laughs> Good old WD-40 look. And this is what Paulie Morgan needs. It's his special little... Uh, what would you call it, Paul? I call it a screw with a big red thing on the end. Do, 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 just do you want me to touch anything? No. Oh. When I required your assistance, you didn't give it me. Now I don't. We're going out further. Ah, uh, he succumbed to my wishes. Well, I think any man out there knows <laughs> there's two en there's two opinions in life: a man's opinion and the, and the right one. <laughs> yes. As I'm sure you're probably aware, I do very little in the production of these videos. However, Carol works really, really hard on them. So if you could subscribe to our channel and hit the notification button. We would be very, very grateful, and it would really make Carol's day. So we're all settled in. Uh, the sunshine is still, but it's bitter out there, isn't it? Any so we've um, closed the door and we're gonna snuggle up in here. But Paulie's doing a bit of DIY. What are you doing, Paulie Morgan? Glue in there. Had a bit of a problem with the fridge door shelf. What it was is a uh, Carol lad. <laughs> so he's managed to glue it to his finger. <laughs> Carol had about 17 bottles of wine in there. What, in that little shelf? Yeah. And, um, and it was too much. And it was too much for the fridge to cope with. And I really feel like I'm under pressure now because I've got a couple of stuff for me. That's it. Press it. Yes, we're going to try and fix that. So we can just put light things in there, like 
sausages or matches. Um, or ne- <laughs> I think it was a problem that there was about six or seven bottles of Bud Boys. It was your fault. Yes. I take full responsibility. Yes. I feel bad. Do you know why I feel bad? Why? Because it was on the way home. If I'd have been a proper man, I'd have drank them all before we go. No. So I feel like I let the side down. So that's why I'm only having cans of coke this weekend. Oh, cans of coke. Paulie has a ritual. As soon as he parks up and sits down, whatever time of day, <laughs> he has beer. Isn't that right, Paul? Yeah. 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 And today he's on La Cerveza Masfina. We're going to now start the, what will we call it? The it Upton is. on Seven Crib Championship. Um, so if anyone that knows Paul and watched our um, Sterrett's Caravan Vlogs, Paul's not very good at losing, is he, when we played Rummy Crub, whatever it was called, Rummy, Rummy Cub. Well, the, ironically, we could call this the Drum and Monkey Championship because that would be very yes, odd. Yes, we could. Because I like playing the drums. <laughs> but as you Where see, you we, we've in, got Ellie? our little, this folding little cribbage board has been yeah. probably to as many countries as we have. It hasn't. I think it has. It hasn't been to Jersey. No, I haven't been to Jersey. He keeps rubbing that and it's the only country he's been to. No, I haven't. So we're going to have a game of crib. You know that's not a country, don't you, Jersey? No, I know. An island that I've not been to. I've been to a lot more than Paulie Morgan, but that's the one I haven't been to, and he always rubbed it in. Anyway, we'll let you know. We'll get on with the crib. Lots of people have said that Carol, she gets a bay mind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they meant. Uh, right, let the championship begin. So. Paulie said he's got a, an update he wants to say. Well, I've got an update, but. Um... But really, I need the camera. Why? I need to point at. Because uh, I don't know if, you know, there's a few times in a man's life when he's right. And he can count those uh, amounts of time he's right on probably the fingers of one hand. So I want you to cast your mind back to one of our previous vlogs where Carol had her new exciting shiny metal glass. <laughs> now, I predicted... That you did. It was a massive flash in the pan because she only likes drinking out of glass. Well, it was one ninety nine. No, but she assured me. Metallic glass. She assured me, don't you worry, Mr. Morgan. I will drink out of that glass come hell or high water. So I'll just turn my camera around now where you can see Carol enjoying her glass of wine. Oh, that just looks like a normal glass to me. Yeah, see, it was metallic and it was very pretty, oh. but... And, and what did I say when you I said know. you were going to buy it? But it's only one ninety nine. But it doesn't matter, does it? What did I say? You'll only, you'll only use it once. Yes. Yeah, Amy tells you to use it. Once. <laughs> <laughs> so he's right. So back to glass, to a nice wine glass. Yes. It does taste better. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, cheers. <laughs> Oh, I've forgotten that. <laughs> no, <I haven't. laughs> anyway, back right. to the cards. Right, you have to shuffle, I have to cut. Join us in episode two, where we give you a full tour of the pub and campsite. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. We've done lots of videos on campsites, so why not watch one of these next? <laughs>